Hello students, in this video we'll consider homogeneous functions of two variables and see corresponding partial differential equations they satisfy. Let's suppose we have a function, suppose that z is equal to f of xy is homogeneous of degree n. Okay, and we're going to assume that n is just here, it's just going to be a, a natural number. And what does that mean? Meaning that if I dilate the variables, I can factor out a factor of that parameter, lambda x, lambda y. So if I plug in, if I dilate x and y by lambda, I can factor out a lambda to the power n, f of x and y. So this condition over here defines homogeneous of order n, if this is true for all x and all y. Now, if this is the case, what I can do, let's assume that n is a natural number where this makes sense, I'm going to take this boxed equation over here and differentiate with respect to the lambda parameter. So if we take the derivative, if we differentiate, differentiate with respect to lambda, and so if we do so, what we get? Well, now, this function f, there's a lambda dependence in the x variable and a lambda dependence in the y variable. So if we differentiate the left-hand side, we'll have partial f, partial x, at the point lambda x, lambda y, and then the derivative of the x variable with respect to lambda is going to be x. Then we'll have partial f, partial y, at the variables lambda x, lambda y, and then we have how does the y variable change with respect to lambda? It changes like y. If I do the derivative of the right-hand side with respect to lambda, I'm going to have an n, lambda to the n minus 1, f of x, y. And now what I can do is I can plug in lambda equals 1 into this formula. So let's plug in lambda equals 1, plug in lambda equals 1. And what will we get over there? If we plug in lambda equal 1, we're going to have x times fx of xy plus y times fy of xy is equal to n f of xy. And this equation over here is known as the Euler first order PDE. Okay? And if n is sufficiently large, I can do this differentiation again and find a second order PD. So if we do one more derivative with respect to lambda, so if I differentiate with respect to lambda again and do d by d lambda of this equation, d lambda of this equation, what will we have over here? Well, we're going to have a what? We'll have a partial squared f, partial x squared of lambda x, lambda y. And then I'm going to hit that with two x's. So I'm going to have an x times x, so that's going to be an x squared. I'll have a partial squared f, partial y, partial x, lambda x, lambda y and then I'm going to have an x times y, x times y. Over here, what will we have? We'll have a partial squared f, partial x, partial y, of lambda x, lambda y, lambda x, lambda y, and then that will be times x, y, or y, x, doesn't matter. And then finally, the last thing we'll have is we'll have a what? We'll have a partial squared f, partial y squared, lambda x, lambda y, y squared is equal to n times n minus 1, lambda to the n minus 2, f of x and y. And again, the n has to be basically larger than 2 for this to make sense. But now what we can do is we can plug in lambda equals 1. And if we do so, what we get? If we plug in lambda equals 1, we'll have x squared f x x at x y plus 2 x y f x y x y plus y squared f y y x y is equal to n times n minus 1 f x y and this is the second this is Euler's second order PDE Euler's second order and these PDEs are valid and the solution to these PDEs are exactly homogeneous functions with parameter n thank you very much